Hi guys! Today I want to show you my Midori setup. This is how it is at the moment, but as always, it's always changing. So, in a few weeks' time, I might have a completely different setup. No, it probably won't change much, but I am contemplating incorporating two of the inserts into one and then I might have an extra insert or I might not, I'm not sure. So this is how it is set up at the moment. This is not a Midori, it is a Fodori actually. It is known as a Fadori because it is made by Monique, Monique VMB on YouTube and she calls them Fadoris because um, that is the name of her Dewanda shop. Um, she makes them for sale and she also makes um, incredible inserts and I got some inserts in here and they're beautiful and she's so talented, so skilled and she she's quite unique in that she gets the untreated, untanned leather and then she treats it to a um, specific way using specific treating agents such as beeswax and um, vinegaroon or something. She's got a video showing one of the techniques she uses and it's incredible because you think this used to be almost a completely white leather that she has made unique in treating it. I asked specifically for the antique beeswax and walnut one and her husband actually crushed the walnut shells himself which you've got to think that is incredible that somebody has or actually two people have put so much effort into making this unique making this for you and I love it and it's gorgeous I made a couple of modifications to it um, Monique has um, some tin clasps that are similar to the Midori ones that um, I don't like the Midori tin clasp so when I changed the elastic because I put thicker elastic in because my books are heavy um, I didn't put the tin clasp back on and I also modified it so that instead of coming out of the spine the elastic closure comes out of the back and I actually put two holes in the back because I couldn't get the elastic to fit through one hole so I put a second hole next to it and it, it works perfectly so I've got a Tim Holtz um, locket thing, lock, um, that is my um, charm which I absolutely love. And on the inside, I don't have any pockets here and I, I kind of wish I could have one but I don't want to have to buy another one because I have one on my main Midori which I use to store my bus ticket but I'm using my purse at the moment because I don't want to have to pay something like £4.50 for another little pocket sticker. I may buy one in the future but I'm not sure. Um, so I've got my credit card pocket and my Ziploc pocket as always. I was contemplating taking these out but I do love them being in here so I've left them. And I've got um, my big four colour pen and I've got both of them, the, uh, the blue, black, green and red one and the purple, light green, pink and light blue one. Um, and they're both on look term pen loops. And then I've got the main first section. This is the main part of my planner because it's the diary. Not a journal diary but um, an agenda diary. And of course it's, it's um, you know, one of the main parts of a planner. I don't think you can have a planner without one. Um, some sort of um, diary insert. Whether it's month on two pages or week on two pages or day per page or something. This is homemade, handmade. As you can see, it's not expertly done. I have um, cut it wrong, so it's not very good, but I made it. So all I can do is try to be um, more skilled next time I make my own notebooks. I've learnt from my mistake. I know what I did wrong and I know how I can fix it. Um, I don't know if you can hear that rain. I'm in the attic, so it's vibrating off the roof, which it's not fun living in the attic. Um, so it's made of grid paper, which is my favourite kind of paper. Um, it's got the elephant stickers for the yearly 
grid. This is the second half of last year and this is the first half of this year and when Paper Chase bring out some more stickers I'll put them at the bottom here. And then it goes into January month grid and then it goes into the weekly grid. So I've spliced them. So the weekly pages sit in between the monthly pages which I love because I much prefer it that way. That's the beauty of making a customable, customizable insert in that you can decide how you want it and you can make it absolutely perfectly your own. And the beauty of doing it yourself is that you can change anything you want. So in January I was using a um, week on two pages format but then I realised that it was too much space for me and I wanted less space for the days and more space for the week because like that day there, that Thursday, I had a lot of empty space because I was too tired to do anything and instead of scheduling to do's for each day like this Monday and this Tuesday I scheduled too much and I didn't get it done because you can only do so much in an evening and instead I wish I'd have had um, more space to put a weekly to-do list and then I can pick things off the weekly to-do list and do it on a specific day but um, I didn't need as much space for each day so for February and this is the beauty of having a customizable diary you can change it to however you like for February I changed the format to week on one page plus notes which meant that if I had a quiet evening and I didn't get much done there isn't much of a gap which means that I didn't feel like I've wasted so much time of course you're allowed an evening off every now and then but if you've got big empty space it makes you feel like you haven't done much so it, it means that I don't have too much space to force myself to fill but it means that I've got the space to write out my weekly to-do list and my goals and that kind of thing. So what I've started doing is journaling inside the days um, because I'm not a big journaler. I can't journal in a dedicated journal. I fall behind, I don't write much, I get stressed because I've fallen behind and I, I'm not dedicated to it. So I instead I'm just writing important things down in the weekly slots and then I can use the rest of the space on the week on two pages because um, I mean on the notes page because um, I don't really get much written on there I can use that for journaling as well um, and I really like this format and March is well it's the second day of March now so I have to draw out March but it means that I'm gonna draw out the rest but if in April I decide I don't want to use week on two page uh, week on one page plus notes maybe I want to go back to week on two pages I can draw it in because I haven't drawn it in yet I haven't got it pre-printed I haven't drawn it in so I can do whatever I like but because I've drawn the monthly grids that means that if I need to pre-plan anything because I haven't got the um, weekly grids drawn out I just write it on the monthly grid so that's um for the whole of 2014, Midori inserts are split into several inserts, two or more inserts for the year, whereas I've fitted it all into one insert, which is why it's so chunky. Then I've got the, um, the six pocket file insert, which um, Marianne from Pocket Full of Vintage designed and has a tutorial for on, fa on YouTube. And it's a, a really, really good tutorial and it's an ingenious invention. So I've just got things fitted into the pockets and I haven't got anything in these long pockets yet but if there's something that I need to keep like um, a check or something I can put it in there. I've got a shopping list and work times and then in the middle I have my notebook and this is something that I've been missing from my setup for a few months and I'm really glad I got it back in there and I really needed it back because the, the setup before was diary and then in here instead of a, a fixed notebook I had this which was individual pages which I can take out and add more and then um, I had the journal at the back the um, one where I was trying to maintain it but I couldn't because I'm not good at journaling um, so instead I've come back to my three things 
I've done this video so many times, I have done it about four times, I can't remember if I've told you. My Midori setup, my Filofax, my previous planner Filofax setup, goes in a circle, in a cycle where I have a setup that I'm happy with, something changes, I'm not happy with it, I go through planner fail, and then I keep coming back to the same setup, but I don't realise that I keep coming back to the same setup because it's the perfect setup for me. My perfect setup com comprises of three components, diary, notes and organisation section. This is my notes section and it is basically a brain dump. And I'm talking really fast now because my, c my um, camera dies after 15 minutes and I'm at 11 minutes at the moment. I'm timing it on my watch so I've got to speak quickly um, so it's basically a brain dump I can write whatever I like in here and that is the beauty of it because it there's no rules I can just I've got so many eclectic things in here I've got pen tests I've got sums I've got um, project notes I've got lists I've got me just putting my thoughts on paper I've got so many random things I've got a poem that I like I can just write down whatever I like and there's absolutely no rules and that's why I love it. And then I've got this for, um, it's like a little filing cabinet, I can put sticky notes under the relevant letter because this is the Moleskine pocket address book insert which fits in here perfectly and things like bus times I'm going to put under B and that sort of thing. And then I've got my organisation section and this is the third component that I always have to have but I'm not sure I'm going to keep it. So it's split into two. There's this bit in the middle which is my dashboard but it's going to be a divider between the two halves where the um, the first section is for my current lists and that always comprises of current projects or in progress, on my mind, keep in mind, waiting for. But as you can see it only takes up a few pages. I've also got a list of my hobbies and my goals for 2014 but I don't need them in there. Then the second section, so this is basically what is on my mind at the moment, what is on my plate at the moment. Keeping everything on paper, taking the stress out of my brain, trying to um, keep things on paper so I don't have to stress about it. But then I've also got this second section which is um, for to-do lists and for project lists and things. I don't need this section in here. I can put it in with, because it's for hobbies and projects, I can put it in with my hobbies and projects, Filofax, which I will be doing a video on when I finish setting it up. So I think I might be taking this insert out because really I only need four or five pages of it and incorporating it into my notebook. And then I've got the space for a third notebook, but I've always got the third notebook problem where there's nothing that I need. I never have a third notebook besides these three that I actually need, but because I don't need this as a third notebook, it's only four or five pages and I can incorporate it into my notebook notebook, I don't know what I'm going to be doing with this. But one thought is that I could make my own notebook insert that is like double the thickness of this one, like my diary is and then that will take up the thickness because I like a chunky Midori and it could take up the thickness of the three so I'm not sure, I might do that, I might not so that is the current setup then I've got the back of my Ziploc pocket and my credit card pocket I'm not sure what my setup is going to be in a month's time but if I change it I'll do another video and I will show you then so thank you for watching this and if you haven't made a Midori video, if you have one, um, but you feel brave enough, please do because I love watching them. I've got a YouTube playlist with 150 Midori videos and that is, I think, nearly all of them. And I will add your video to it. I love watching them. I love watching Filofax setup videos, but there aren't many Midori ones out there. There are thousands of Filofax ones and 150 Midori ones. So please make one for me and um, I will happily watch it. So thank you for watching this and um, have a lovely March. Bye!